right, match four. Um, I think this opponent, next step, is on some type of Uro deck. I think they're on um, Sultai Uro, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, I mean, I think this... It just so happens that this hand is probably about as good as I could hope for against against that deck. Um, you know, but it's good to remember these things as much as possible that the opponent is playing. If people follow me, they obviously know I'm usually playing... I, I, it's very rare that I'm playing anything other than Merfolk or some red variant. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna spam out the creatures. Looks like they're countering one. This makes sense. These these things represent a lot of possible damage. Hopefully they're not playing Dead of Winter. It's a very annoying card. Back when people used to play it, I do think, like I said, I need to make them have it. <clears throat> um, let's see. All right, that's about the perfect card. Could have uh, drawn. See, this is one of the advantages to playing um, an Abbott build as opposed to uh, as opposed to um, Bomac Courier. Bomac Courier is really great, and, and it can potentially draw a lot of cards. But Abbott is nice because it's simultaneously both aggressive and it's a uh, and it's a card advantage engine. You know, obviously, about one third of the deck is uh, two mana or more, or light up the stage. It's a little bit. It's a little bit um, more than. Uh, it's a little bit less than one third if you count light up the stage as a um, as a one mana spell. But I lump it in the non one mana spells just because it can be a little clunky sometimes. Yeah, I don't think they got a sweeper because obviously. Yeah. And the good news is still representing a lot of damage next turn with all these triggers. You know, they got Cryptic Command, they got Cryptic Command, but gotta go for it. Obviously they're representing Cryptic Command really hard, but uh, the good news is this Light Up the Stage is going to set me up, hopefully for Gash next turn, even if, um, even if they do have it. And uh, indeed it does look like there will be Gash next turn. So let's let's see how this goes.
Now that kind of puts a damper in things. Um, that's actually much worse than Cryptic Command. Um, let's see how this, uh, what to do here. I don't think it's right to attack. Yeah, that, that really put a damper on this, but good thing I've got more where that came from. Actually, Cryptic Command is worse because they would have drawn a card. But then again, this also saves them some life because I'm probably going to have to use the Lightning Bolt on the creature. If I draw a land, I can play all of this, and I think that's going to be enough. Assuming they don't have Cryptic Command now. So probably it's going to be correct to attack first, then play Lightning Bolt. And that will be three total triggers, even if I don't draw land. So that's nine exactly off of two Lava Darts to the face, and uh, a 5-4 and a 4-5 uh, Swift Spear. All right. So that is the plan. Considering I don't think I can win this turn anyway, I'll just I'll just stomp. Hopefully. Oh, I forgot that that uh was gonna go away. Did I, I think I may have miscalculated though because. I would have gotten two triggers. Yeah, that would have been lethal. Uh, I guess I miscalculated that. How did I miscalculate that? Oh no, I didn't because uh, I would have only gotten two more triggers. It'd be at two because I'm I've got to factor that in. The fact that I already got the tr a trigger from Bone Crusher Giant from Stomp instead. Mm, yeah, I feel, well, you know, losing a land is a pretty big deal. Yeah, and putting them down to two, as opposed, yeah, I don't think losing a land was worth, was worth putting them down to uh, two instead of four. Yeah, see, this is the power of playing more aggressive creatures, like Abbott. It's a card advantage engine, but it also can dish out a lot of damage. That's really something to like. Very few decks can both play offense and defense very well. Whenever a deck can, that's usually that's usually a very good sign. Or I should say play offense and, and really grind well into the late game. Alright, well... Kind of knew Uro was an inevitability. I think this is a good game, though, because you have five. Uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully they don't have another Mana Leak. Gotta go for the win, right? Before the Uro shenanigans begin in earnest. Nice. See, in the last league, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go over that one or not, but um, but yeah, in the last league, um, I uh, even even when I was even when I cashed in Bomac Courier for a lot of cards, still couldn't get there with against Uro. I think your best chance in game one against Uro is just going under, which we did. Uh, I'm still not necessarily phased from thinking game one is probably at least a bit disfavored uh, in, you know, the first game specifically because, sure, that hand can overpower Uro, over, overpower Uro, but as we saw, even even then, they were pretty close to possibly making a comeback, uh, you know, and they, they do, and they are very capable of making a comeback. You stumble once, and they can definitely come back. So, yeah, but games two and three where Blood Moon and uh, Relic really help is where I think uh, 
where the, where we become solidly favored. Firebolt's just kind of too clunky. Um, lava dart, lava dart's good, but lava dart might be a little bit clunky too. Hard to, hard to argue Lava Dart is clunky, but, uh... Yeah, it's gotta be Chan Channeler that's actually more clunky. I mean, sure, that helps dig. Yeah, who am I kidding? This is a must-answer threat. It's way better than Lava Dart. Sure, sometimes Lava Dart wins the game, but, uh... We're definitely going more grindy, games 2 and 3. Well, not very aggressive, but it's got Relic, and that goes a long, long way. So I am going to keep this. And the thing about this deck is that um, it can be aggressive, but it really doesn't need to be. It's kind of it's kind of both an aggro and a mid-range deck at the same time. Like, you wouldn't necessarily mole a uh, Jund Hand just because it doesn't have Tarmogoyf. I mean, maybe it obviously depends on the matchup, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, even if your Jun Hand isn't particularly aggressive, you're not necessarily going to mulligan it. And I think that's a similar idea here, except that, uh, except that unlike Jund, turn three kills are possible. Season Pyromancer brings the grind. Brings the grind home. Yeah, I'm not gonna play light up the stage, because I, I do want to just get seasoned in there. I think I have to discard the mountains, because it's just insane. And I only have 14 of these. I've got two Horizon Lands, and I've got four uh, Shatter Skull Smashings. So amazing, even with 14 lands, you can get this mana flooded. The good news is, even if they have a uh, mana leak, Season Pyromancer still will still do the Lord's work in the form of coming back and making tokens. Yeah, I called it, but had to try. And now I think Lightning Bolt and Light Up the Stage are pretty good. Alright, this is where Lightning Bolt's gonna help. I think they have to, yeah, it's a very, very easy, easy uh, pick for them. Ooh, you know what? I can actually... No, I can't Shatter Skull yet. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do Light Up the Stage to kind of tempt them. This might... If they've got a Force Negation, this might beat that out. But I really do want to Lightning Bolt, actually. I can Shatter Skull Smashing next turn, so it's really not that big of a deal, even if they Force Negation it. some skulls, shall we? Yeah, how many lands can kill Scavenging Ooze? <laughs> cling to dust would have been a reason to maybe hold on to hold on to the uh, relic activation 
All right, well, it's moon time. Moonya. It's even... So Mana Leak isn't going to do it, but still could have, you know, Aether Gust is probably... All right. I gotta like... I gotta like these odds. I'm going to play the Giant just because I want to want to actually put the clock on. Eventually, eventually they're going to draw one of their basic islands, and then they can possibly Aether Gust this back on top. Um, so just let's get this over with as soon as possible, shall we? I, didn't, I don't think they play red, so I don't think I have to worry about them. Um, about uh, Anger of the Gods. Nice. 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 Well, plan for the 5-0. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I am onto something after all. Let's see. 